Hey guys, it is FaceTime, which is what's going on in my life update. Uh, <clears throat> so first we're going to talk about the items that I've finished, and then we'll do the yarn I've been spinning, and we'll go from there. So the first item that I finished was this cow. Well, no, it's not a cow. This shawl. And I used uh, the loops and threads and peckable yarn. It was two skeins. The pattern is Owl Fins Garter Shawl. And that's I L S E F I N S. And it is a free pattern on Ravelry. And I'll post a link to the pattern or to her. I don't even know if her website works. But. I'll post a link and you guys can look for it. Um, and if it won't let me put the link, because you know how YouTube is about links, then um, I will link it on my website, which is shespins.com. Okay. And it was a very, very easy um, first time knit uh, shawl pattern. Uh, if you're a new knitter, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. This pattern is super, super easy to do. Uh, and it was a quick knit I used the loops and threads which is I think it says it's a six on the label um, so yeah so that was the first thing that I finished the second thing that I finished was the pattern I shared with you guys a couple weeks ago which was the Stephen West hat in the Malabrigo book uh, three I don't know if that's going to be upside down or backwards for you guys. But, um, so if you have this book, it's a real easy hat pattern. Some of the instructions, well, might be just a little bit confusing. But, um, if you look at other people's projects and on that, that finished this particular hat on Ravelry, it'll make a lot of sense to you. Um, the construction is very much like the mammoth caps that I've made in the past. The only thing different is he added these pearl rows for the um, contrast team color. Um, he doesn't have the little mop, the little anything what it's called right now. A little there's like a little tail that sticks up on the mammoth caps. And also on the mammoth caps I usually do like a little hook loop on the inside so you can hang it up, hang the head up on a um, peg. And um I can't I don't know why I can't think of that word right now but it'll come to me eventually. The other item I finished was as you guys know from last year I made uh, blankets for the Edmark Foundation and I chose to do stars. Um, the purpose of the blankets is so that um, if one of the children who are terminal pass away, the parents will have a blanket that that child has used um, regularly and it might have their scent to it or whatnot. And the parent can store this in a Ziploc bag and when they're feeling depressed or missing that child um, very badly, they can always pull this out and um, feel like they have that child with them in some way. The reason I chose a star is because everyone knows when children pass, they become stars in heaven. So, in the universe, so you can always look out at the universe and always see your child twinkling down at you. So, that's why I chose stars. Now, if you're using the video that I posted to do this star um, granny stitch blanket, then use the same weight yarn throughout the project. Or you could do like, like, don't do what I did, which was I wasn't thinking after I did the worst it for the center part of the star when I changed colors. I was just trying to use up all the blues that I had. And the next color, instead of using this, um, instead of using a larger hook with this, I stayed with the same hook. I should have switched to a larger hook because this is a sport weight yarn. And so what that did was it caused my center star portion to buckle. Um, once I block this, it'll help ease that out and it'll flatten out some. So if you're going to use different weight yarns to, as a stash buster, then do your sport weights, all your sport weights first. 
then switch to the worsted if you're planning on using the same hook. Um, if you're not going to use, if you're going to use, but you know, I think the best thing to do is just use the same weight throughout the project and then just save your sport for another sport stash pushing project. Um, that would be the easiest thing to do. And so that was project number three. That's finished. I just got to weave in the ends on all of these and they're done. And so this cow is the last thing that I finished. And I used the Red Heart Curly Q yarn. And it was very quick. It's um, knitting around. It's just a basic knit stitch knitting around. And it's very, very easy to do. I think I just started out with 106 stitches and just knit it until I was almost at the end with this. And I just have to weave in the ends. And this is exactly how much I had left over was the last end. That's, this is all I had left over from that um, skein of yarn. So, so those are all my, my knitted and crochet projects that I've finished. I've been spinning, I've been spinning on my spindles, which I have these four left there. There's actually five of them spinning on. So, just this one of these spindles right here. This spindle is one of my new spindles I showed you guys. Well, guess what? This wood is very dry. And so this spindle broke and I've gorilla glued it back together. I just have to sand it down the edges and then um, it'll be fine. Um, if it breaks again, I'll take it to one of my woodworking friends and have them uh, put some kind of screw in it to join. You join the inside parts and glue and then it'll you know, be even better. But um, so these three have the same um, wool on them and that is a blend of um, is 70% alpaca and 30% merino and the alpaca is black and the merino was a white so you get like a grade out uh, grade heather effect with those three this one is um, bamboo and it is pink I'll show it to you guys. Stop thinking. Come on, I'll start rolling around. Is this bamboo right here? So it's in a pink and a white. And I bought this uh, a couple years ago, I think about two years ago. And it's called Sorbet. It's hand painted bamboo top. It was four ounces originally. I've already spun two ounces of it. And it is made by Chimera.etsy.com. And that's Chimera, C-H-I-M-E-R-A. So that's who I pur purchased it from on Etsy a couple years ago. I haven't checked, so I don't know if her shop is still open or their shop is the case maybe because there's a lot of men dying now as well. But it was, it's very easy. It's a very easy spin. Um, and here's the part that I've been spinning on one of my um, wrist distaffs. Spinning wheel. This is the last skein that I finished. And you can't see the colors real good, but this is actually greens. It's like a chartreuse and a mint green. And that portion, it wasn't, it's like a half a bob in that portion. And my friend that I, that I took the commission for to spin this, she can always take that part out when she um, winds her yarn into um, a cake. And she can t separate it, separate the two parts if she wants to. But I think it looks pretty good um, like this together. I mean, you can because the color isn't showing up as vibrantly on the screen, um, but it looks all right. It looks really nice together in person. <laughs> so yeah, so I finished that. And then the next thing that um, I've spun was this one, which was two ounces. And it's a single. And I'm thinking about plying it with some white. And uh, this another single to get the most bang for the buck from that. This was my last four ounces of um, Wow Hair Fiber Studios Faux Cashmere. And um, so I got to apply this. And I'm also thinking about applying this with a solid color to um, maybe uh, 
not sure what I, what solid color I want to apply it with, but um, I want to you know want to keep it in um lace to light fingering weight. So I'm still trying to figure out what color to apply that I want to apply this with. If you have any ideas, feel free to give me ideas on that. Think about dyeing up some light purple and plying it with that because I think that will look good. Either a purple or a light blue. But it, I want the, the other color to be a lot lighter than than this. So yeah. And what I'm almost finished spinning now was this yarn. I only have about about an ounce left to spin of this. And this is looks like so I really like the way it's coming out. I wish these colors were showing up better but today, but they are not. So yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. And that was some uh, meal ends that I got from Sheep Shed Studio that we died. Me and my husband we died it. And he named it Purple Medley. And it was 3.3 .3 ounces. So, yeah. And that's also going to be applied with a solid color. More than likely with a solid black to get the most out of that purple. And it's also, I'm on a lace weight kick. So, it's going to be a two ply lace as well. So, yeah. So, that's what I've been working on lately. Um, hope you enjoyed FaceTime. <laughs> I don't look forward to doing that too much, too much, you know. Um, Health-wise, I just renewed my prescription, so I'm being good. I have to pick those up on Friday. Uh, and then I have to schedule my next appointment with my doctors to get my A1C levels checked. And so I can renew my prescriptions. Um, that's pretty much all that's going on. Y'all take care. Don't forget about the contest that's going on right now. Remember, you have to be a subscriber if you're going to participate in the contest. You got to do a response video to that um, video, which would be the, the 300 subscriber video. Um, so, yeah. So, I look forward to your um, video um, contest entries. And I'll see you guys later.